Good morning, it's Rob here at Bertie's Bug Resto and this is a bit of a clip today about um, a 69 Beetle headlight, um, an Australian Euro type um, headlight. It's not a sealed beam unit, it's uh, quite a, well I pulled it apart and then when I went to rebuild it, um, it I had a few challenges so let's have a look at a completed one, one I've just done and then I'll take you over to one that I'm about to do so let's have a look at the one I've done uh, this is the passenger side so all the chrome ring the reflector and the bezel or retainer is uh, clipped the retainer is clipped in so I had a few um, I tried to YouTube it and I couldn't find anything on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is just explain to you this and then we'll go and have a look at the setup over there, which is it's all the driver side is all in knockdown for. So I'll show you how it goes back together. But basically what you've got in here is the retainer. That's a drain hole. Now it comes with uh, that rubber, a rubber there for the adjusters, and a rubber there for the adjusters. So it comes, the reflector is new. And I'll show you why I replaced both in a second, you'll understand why. But um, the reflectors were both replaced. So there's three pieces, there's the chrome ring, there's the retaining bezel, the reflector, and in, in under here is a, um, a gasket or a rubber seal. So I'll put this down, we'll go over to the knockdown form one, and we'll have a look at it. So I'll just grab my um, camera. Well, you can probably hear that through the camera too. So here I have the one in knockdown. I don't know if you can see that too well. I'll just drop the camera down a bit. I'm going to set it apart. It's better. Okay. So here, here is the old reflector. You can see it in here. It's rusty, so I've replaced it. And you know, there's there's your adjuster there, and one on the other side, the rubber mounts for the pins to go through. This is the original one, and they've got this standoff with the new ones, they don't have this standoff. And I was going to pull that out and use it, but I thought, oh no, I won't do that. So um, that's the old reflector. And you'll see when you see this one, and that's a new reflector, right? So you'll, you can actually see the difference. Whoop, now you won't be able to see a thing. And this is the new reflector, which is nice and chrome and bright. So I put a new seal around the lens. And I put this uh, signature to the bottom. And I put it into the chrome ring. So obviously the, the, the top here, that's the wide part of the top part. So you just lay your chrome ring in about there. You'll be able to fine tune it. You'll, you'll soon see what's the bottom, what's the top. It's got a tongue here on the uh, chrome ring, and that's clearly your top. So just get it close there like that. Then what you do, you don't put this in, you don't put the reflector in, and at the same time, you don't do it. What you do, I'll pull, um, let me see, I'll pull this one out here because you don't need it. So then you stick, it, you stick, you centralise that, and then you put your bezel on. Now the, this hole here on the bottom there, that goes left of centre bottom, and there's a notch on this side and a notch on that side. They go on either side of that, and then there's four points where you click this in. So you hook it under the. There's a lip inside there the back of the chrome ring and that hooks up over that and they clip in four spots around the bezel. And it's clearly marked, you can see where it's supposed to clip, there, there, around here, around here. And it, look, it takes a while, I would do the, fir the top two first where this is thickest because it's easier, it's, it's easier than trying to get it in under the lip past the high part here. It's really easy down here because you can see everything. But if you put the two top ones in first, it makes it easier. And then 
put, pop that in, and that is held in when you put the headlight in. So um, the reflector has got four grommets, and what actually hold the adjusters, which are, they're two little tags, they're two little tongues, which I'll show you at the back of the other one that's finished. These two little tongues here, they, that's a thread, and it's got a, an arrowhead that goes into the rubber, and that's what adjusts and keeps your headlight in there. It's really, really quite weird, but that's the way it works. So, look, if you want to have a really close look up at this, um, I'll just show you a few different angles so you can see. I find it's better if you can see what you're doing on someone else's than actually um, me telling you. So, there the sort of, I don't know if it's too, is it out of focus? It might be. I'll just turn the camera on so I can see it. Um, so, let me see. So, yeah, that's um, the internal look at the headlight. All right, so um, that's about it. Um, it took me a while to figure out, but I enjoyed it. And um, once you get the hang of it, they're, they're quite simple. So uh, that's it. And I, uh, yeah, this is that's all from Rob's Bug Resto or Bertie's Rug Resto. Um, and I'll catch you next time. Hooray.